Okay, uh, welcome guys. Uh, so this video, uh, let's talk about log sum inequality. Okay, so this is, can be re, uh, like a generalization of the Gibbs inequality. Uh, so if you don't know about Gibbs, Gibbs inequality, then I will put a link uh, below that you guys can check. Basically, uh, uh, it's, a, it's related to the KL divergence, I mean the information theory, if you are interested. Okay, but now uh, this video, uh, I mean, I, I don't talk about the Gibbs inequality, I only want to uh, prove this log sum inequality in the pure mathematical uh, sense. So let's say a1 uh, up to a, uh, an and beyond up to b and b non negative numbers, and the sum is a i is a, so a is uh, let's say a1 from 1 from uh, sum of a1 1 from uh, n and the b b i from 1 to n. And the note, okay, and the inequality is this. Okay, and before I start, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay, so uh, I built an inequality list that uh, you guys can check. So in order to prove this, we need to use the Jensen's inequality. So I will also leave the link that uh, leave, leave the link leave, leave the link below if you don't know how to prove this. So let's quickly say so Jensen's inequality is idea is that if phi is a convex, it's a convex function uh, from a certain region, move to a real number. And uh, within that region, right, suppose you have uh, xi1 from uh, n, which is 1, and uh, you have, let's say, uh, I, I should say ti. So ti is a positive number, uh, while i from 1 to n is 1. Then the, the Jensen's inequality says that uh, if you take convex with some ti xi i from 1 to n, this will less than, less or equal to uh, ti y phi xi i from 1 to n. Okay, so this is the the Jensen's inequality and the proof just due to the convex property that uh, you guys can check. Uh, I will leave the link below. Okay, so now uh, we have all the tools. Basically, we have Jensen's inequality. Then it's enough to prove this. Uh, I mean, it's very uh, it's not enough to prove this uh, log sum inequality. Okay, so uh, let's denote. It. Uh, let's just uh, give the proof. Okay, so idea that to define f of x to be uh, x log x. Okay, so notice that f prime is. Uh, x 1 over x plus x right so which is uh, greater than 0 if greater if, if x so that means f is convex okay so now uh, let's write down the left hand side so we want to prove so this is the our left hand side okay so this guy uh, I can write as a uh, uh, let's say x right so x is a i b i so uh, the, in my intuition uh, will tell me that I should write it as this uh, as, uh, a i b i log a i b i times b i. So this guy, this guy is basically b i f a i divided by b i i from one to n. And uh, right, and this is a b i from one to n b i b f a i b i. Okay, so notice that uh, now uh, if you sum over b i b i i from 1 to n, b i divided by b, which is 1, and also uh, this is convex function. So here, due to a Jensen's equality, uh, greater or equal to, let's say, uh, b i from 1 to n, b i divided by b, a i divided by b i, and I take f, which is uh, b f i from 1 to n, a i divided by b, right? So uh, by definition, which is b a i divided by b log, uh, yeah, I from one to n. Okay, so let me. Uh, okay, so you see, what is this, right? This is b f a divided by b, right? Because sum over a i i from one to n, which is a. So finally, written down everything you get. Uh, like this. So it's a log a divided by b. So total, uh, we have proved that a i log a i divided by b i i from one to n greater or equal to a log a divided by b. Okay, so this is the proof of log sum inequality, and uh, I hope that it's not difficult. Uh, it's not difficult. Okay, I'll see you guys. Oh, by the way, so uh, why is the inequality holds? So that means so why is the when is the Jensen's inequality holds? Uh, Jensen's inequality holds when uh, everything is uh, t all all the all are the same, right? If ti is all one divided by, a, if ti is just one divided by n, then the oh, sorry, if 
So if you see, uh, when is the Jensen's inequality holds for these two? So there, you are asking that uh, uh, what is this guy true, right? And this guy is true if all the xi are, are the same, right? If all the xi are the same, then this term, this term definitely are the same. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's why you can uh, say that uh, you, this must be the same, right? If a, all the ai and bi are the same, and then, uh, right, if all the ai divided by bi are the same, then uh, it's easy to check that this inequality will hold. Okay, so uh, see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Thanks.